Terminal 4 now in management reconstruction is underway at Hawaiian Airlines. Howard Dykus joins us with these exclusive details we'll see only here on Sunrise. Good morning, guys. Hawaiian Airlines has been working on a new org chart for its upper management. Now, the objective is to streamline decision-making and to put more focus on the airline's growth areas, particularly now that Hawaiian's doing so much more international flying west of here. Implementation of the plan has started to take place, most of the action occurring this week. Some people were promoted, some were reassigned, and yes, in some cases, some people were actually let go. Hawaiian says it gave departing personnel, but it feels a general, generous payout packages. They were at some pains to say it wasn't about performance at a particular job so much as the jobs changing. Now, they're done cutting anyone loose. They've already spoken to everybody who's not staying, but they're not done hiring. In the coming weeks, there will be openings for specific skill sets Hawaiian needs going forward. The net change to personnel, I am told, will be an increase when the dust settles from all this. It's a good clarification because when people hear that someone is fired, they automatically think that mm -hmm. the company is Yeah, fired. in fact, it's almost not fair to say fired because that implies that, you know, they were, I don't know, goofing off or something. <laughs> it's not like that. It's just the company's changing. That's right. Thank, Thank you, Howard.